So recently I posed the question about what are your reasons to come here? And now I'm going to flip the coin. I'm going to talk about my reason to come here. Let's dig into that. Here's your story. Let's begin. The world is fine. Come on, dive in. The future's here. It's right before your eyes. I'm not sure why, but the question about um, when you go somewhere seems to be phrased in two ways. Are you running away from something? Or are you running to something? And I have to tell you that that never really felt right to me. I never felt like I'm running away from something, but it's hard to put a, a handle on it, but uh, I don't know that I was running to something. So just recently, I had to think about this because I've had lots of reasons for making a move and everyone has a number of reasons. It isn't one thing, but there should be some main underlying theme. And that's what I had to put my finger on because uh, I wasn't sure, to be honest with you. I think I've sorted it out. I know these videos aren't about my life, but but my reason of coming here, I think, is important enough to do a video about it, and of course that would be something more personal about my life. When I was eight years old, I was home alone basically all the time. And I took care of myself, I cooked myself. Uh, we had well water, so I had to pull water out of the well. We had outdoor toilet. Six months of the year it was cold, so we had heat by firewood. So I would go out and chop and split and do all of those things. So I'd go to school, I'd have a handful of uh, uh, chores, getting a fire going go hunting for some food. But my joy was spending time out in the woods. We lived in the country and I could get away from everything and just kind of think and daydream and imagine the future and that sort of thing. And I, I love those times alone. I'd be gone for hours, hours on end. Hunting was for two purposes. I needed food to eat, and it was a great excuse to get out. So even if my mother stopped around, it's like, well, where are you going? What are you doing? Well, I gotta go hunting. Well, in other words, I need to get away. At age 10 is when I actually began working. I don't mean chores, I mean working. Uh, my mother remarried and my stepfather owned a junkyard. And so when I wasn't in school, I'd step off that bus and he would snatch me up and take me to the junkyard. And I would work in that junkyard afternoons into the evening until it was too dark to work. And, um, and then on the weekends. And so from the time I was 10 years old until I was 15, I, I worked every free time basically you know, in that junkyard. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. You know, it's it's not often you're 10, 11 years old and you learn to drive and you're running bulldozers and cranes and loaders and cutting torches and all of those things. Uh, so I loved it and it was, uh, it was a good training ground. At age 15 is when I left home. Now, when I left home, I have to continue school. I wanted to finish school, but I also needed to work. So I had a very small apartment and I went to work out of that junkyard uh, to a restaurant. And, and so my waking moments were going to school, going to work in the restaurant, get some sleep, do it again. Uh, weekends I worked in the restaurant. So at age 19, I joined the Marine Corps. So for over six years, I'm off working there. And once I got out of the Marine Corps, I spent the rest of my life in management, consulting, and that sort of thing. Now, here's the thing. 
The joy of my childhood was when I could get out and go in those woods and reflect and be alone and and have a immature pint-sized Walden's Pond. And from that moment on, it became dealing with life's issues and dealing with people and you get into management and consulting, that's all you're doing. You're dealing with telephones, you're dealing with people. I was very good at what I did and that brings you to things like you begin speaking in front of crowds, they go from 50 to 100 to thousands, you go to conventions, and so your life becomes very social. But here's the thing, at heart, I really am an introvert. And being social was always a chore for me. Now, everyone seemed to think that that's the way I was, but I had to work at that. And then you begin to wonder after years go by, maybe that's really what I've become. And so, you know, it gets confusing, but do you sit around in your life and say, oh, what am I this or that or what? You know, you don't necessarily dig that deep. But I can tell you that in crowds, I always felt, and, I, and it was always there, I felt like I was putting on a show. Not that I was being fake, but, but forcing myself to be that outgoing person, you know, to be making jokes and be funny and be witty and all of those things um, that I knew deep down wasn't really me. I became someone else. After a number of years, you, you kind of begin to wonder, you know, which, which am I? So coming here, is it running away from something? Was it running to something? I've kind of come to the conclusion that I'm just going back into time to find some peace. So we can have a lot of reasons, and some of those reasons almost feel like excuses. But I don't think it's a coincidence that I came here and, like a bloodhound, looked for a place where I could go and spend a lot of time alone, away from crowds, away from social demands, away from telephones. Um, it certainly isn't a coincidence. And um, I don't know how long I'll be in this mode, but I can tell you I'm loving it here. And I honestly feel that if I'd stayed in the U.S., I would have always been pulled to those social things. I would have been offered money to do consulting that I just couldn't turn down. And, you know, I know people, I have friends and and no offense to the friends, they're wonderful people, but it wouldn't have been alone. And for whatever reason, I really had a deep need to find myself in a place where I am right now. And um, finding that solitude after all those years has been very comforting. I think the best I can sort it out, that was probably my main reason. Before you come, what is your main reason? Are you running away from something? Are you running towards something? Or maybe you're like me and you're just taking a temporary step back into time. I don't think it's a coincidence when people try to compare other countries to, it's like going back to the 50s. It's not like going back to the 50s here, but maybe there's some of that for other people. Until next video.
yakın.